This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, we've all been there. Maybe you're spreading yourself too thin, not feeling the best that you know you could feel, and you just want someone to talk to. And guess what? The easiest way to do that and to find your social sweet spot is with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash PD today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PD. Let's get into the episode. Playdate, episode 31. 31. Will and I are doing this fun thing today where we're wearing sunglasses. In our defense, the studio is way brighter today than Much. it ever has been, and we can't really account for it. Yep. That being said, I also don't really like wearing sunglasses. I was going to say the can same thing, but we'd already kind of committed to take it. Take them off? We can take them off. It is, wow, that is really bright. Honestly, probably good because the audio listeners would have been missing out on a big treat. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah we, we don't, don't want to the audio like listeners. A disparity. We've got a great, a great, great episode for you guys today. Yeah. We have pitches from you guys as usual. Two Am I the Assholes. Uh, Will and I are going to do our... New favorite segment, Teach Me Something. Mm-hmm. I have a very good one today. Then we are doing Jimmy Buffett songs that don't exist. And what was the other one? Kurt. Uh, uh, Kurt's that don't Kurt. exist. No, I did it. I, I don't, did it. I don't remember. It? Let me look. Oh, I have my sheet right here. Oh, uh, dog breeds that don't exist, which I... I did not understand that category at all. Really? Well, we'll see. You're like... You're like Darker golden retriever. Yeah. <laughs> Don't actually. Gold- you're, you're painting the corners. <laughs> <Okay, let's laughs> move on. Okay. Um, Will, how are you? I'm doing? back. Yeah, you've I'm been back. Gone I was for a in. While. I was gone for last week. Had a great week. Went to Zach Bryan twice. Nice. Went the boss the, came out. The boss came out and did Mag- and Maggie Rogers. Can I ask you a question? Why do you go twice? Wouldn't that just be the same thing? He changed his set list a little. He actually didn't play something in the orange the first night. Mm. He did the second night. But also, I mean, it's like your favorite. It's like my favorite thing to do. I've seen him nine times now. That's too many times. This was eight and nine. Yeah. Too many times. Um, I saw a video today of people slandering people for sitting down. They were like, these are the people that are buying the Zach Bryan tickets instead of you. And it was just people just sitting down enjoying the music. I will say I... Uh, in the, the the first night, we were in the second to last row in the entire stadium. Yeah, you were like 500. No, that, that was the thing. <laughs> so they do, I think just for like the novelty of like, it's cool to have a ticket from a concert you went to. Yeah. Even though you scan your phone, they just hand everyone a ticket as you come in. Yep. And they all just say, this, this, you, we'll put the picture up, but the section in row is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then it's the way it prints is section 1,234, <laughs> row 567. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. So, but anyway, we were in the second to last row and everyone was standing. Yeah. Which well, I, what's wrong with not a lot sitting? of concerts, nothing wrong with people sitting. I don't, oh, I don't, I'm not like a gatekeeping. Yeah. I just mean like, I, it's rare that when you're that far back in a stadium that everyone is standing. Oh, cause it's like you're, you're so far back, you might as well just kick it. Yeah. Like I feel like most people are like usually down by the, <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway. So the, yeah, it was fun. Uh, but the, and then I went to the Mets game, and then I just flew back this morning, and I had an awful morning. What happened? I wa- <laughs> Wait, do you actually not know about this? No, I it heard like- something <laughs> happened, but I wasn't there. I walked in to the so like I I Ubered here straight from the airport. Yep, and we I had like a meeting that I was actually late for, but whatever. Um, and Willie fucking D, I show up when yeah, I yeah. want. Yeah, so I. In, for some reason, I should have gone in, like, we have, like, two doors yep. in our office. Like, we have, like, the main door and then the door to the sketch wing. And I just walked right in the door to the sketch wing without really thinking twice. Turns out they're all in, like, a meeting with <laughs> some sort of, like, they're like a TV thing. They're tra- I don't know. It was, like, really important. Everyone was pissed. I walked in with my suitcase. I was like, what up, boys? I'm back. And then they all were just like, what the hell? Were they all sitting at the table? Yeah, they were all sitting. And like some of them were like kind of standing. There was like a Zoom going on on like the TV. Yeah. And then as I'm like, oh, oh I start, I like try to like roll by and I hit with my like handle of my suitcase. I hit Trent's arm and his coffee just <laughs> all over the floor. And I just, I just like, I kind of just got flustered. And I, like the cleaning like, people just came. Yeah, the it? clean. Oh, the cleaning people were like. On the other side of yeah. the of the wall, and I could see the lady look over and just be like, <laughs> "Yeah, Jesus." And uh, where'd he get it from? It was like a I don't know. It was like a tall, like hot coffee. 
Which he always like has worse. he always has like the most comically large coffee. Yeah, yeah, like, like the last four ounce. The last <laughs> guy you would want to hit his coffee out of his hands. But yeah. Um so yeah, I spilled Trent's coffee all over the floor in the yeah. middle of a big meeting and everyone hated me. Yeah. Well. You know Trent, right? No, is that like a secret name for someone? No, he works in the... I was going to ask that, and then I was like, is it a nickname? He actually used to... He worked at your desk, and then... He does like the sketch He does the sketch editing, so he works like up in like... This is a fake person. I swear to God, real person. (laughs) Wait, wait, I actually can't tell if you're joking now. He worked at your desk, and then when you came to move, he... They like moved him to the sketching. Because he wasn't podcast. Yeah. Trent... He's, this is the yes. first time I've ever heard of this. You've met him. He's in the like meetings. You've shit. met him probably. No, he's not. Probably fifty times. This is a fake person. This Swear to God. Also, I actually have a. I have a picture of Trent. <laughs> we can go get him. Let me slack you a picture of Trent. Is it like? I thought. I thought this was like a different name for like Tyler or something. No, I call him Tyler usually. Wait, pull this up. Trent, he's in the like in the sketch wing on the up. You know the upstairs part of the yeah. sketch wing. Yeah. There's like an iMac there. Here, wait. I just slacked. That's for t- Wait, let me also I get to Brian. We're, we're just he, up a picture. I don't know. Brian. I don't know. He literally, he literally used <laughs> to work. This is gonna be embarrassing. Nobody he, sat. This at is my gonna desk. be embarrassing. This is him. Yes, this was. is him. This is him sitting. How did you know you weren't here? Wait, because this it was is Brian this, and Emily. This is him literally editing at your desk. Oh. You can see Brian in the background. You're this is, okay. This is an April Fool's prank. It's not. It's April. Look Fool's at the picture. Prank. It's it's literally him sitting at your desk editing. It's literally April Fools. Look at the picture. You can't get me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I knew that was not real from the beginning. You didn't? I love this picture. I took it. I know. You didn't bite on Trent. Like, we had to, like, force it. When he started when he started telling the story, you were texting, and I was like, oh, fuck, this is going to go right over yep. her head. No. Damn it. No, I I just I assumed Trent. I was like, I don't even want to ask. Like, it's just a nickname. I don't know them. Get April Fools. You got April Fools though. April, April Fools. It's April Fools. We're recording this on April Fools. Oh, <laughs> dude. Trent. Wait, we'll put a picture. We'll put a picture saying? of Trent right here. Yeah, we'll put, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't see the screen. Sorry. That's okay. I mean, that was for you. Yeah. Um. All right. Should we hear some pitches? Yeah. From the peeps. Hmm. Okay. From the people. From the people. Um, Please. Wait, are you guys going to pull any other April Fool's pranks? During this episode? No, just like in general. No. Today? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. And if Not you see any string line, if you see any like <laughs> trip wires, ignore <laughs> Ignore trip them. Trip on it. <laughs> yeah, trip on them. Um, no, I, I, I do. My brother texted me this morning, actually. Mm-hmm. He, he April Fool's me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pull this up. He said... Hey, man, I love you, and I hope you make it home safe. Two minutes later, April Fool's, bitch. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Because I was staying with him, and I flew home this morning. That you're overthinking it. There's nothing. What are you talking about? You're staying with him? Why? Why Why is that what you're confused about? No, He, he lives know. in New York. I was with him this whole last week. So what is the joke? It's that he doesn't, that actually, he doesn't actually love me and want me to get home safe. Oh, yeah. He said, I love you, and I hope you make it home safe. April yeah, Fool's Yeah, I didn't even need to question that. Get April Fool's. Waste of breath. And All then right. I said, I'm home safe. I got upgraded to Delta One. It was awesome. April Fool's bitch. I was in the last <laughs> row. <laughs> That's yeah, you probably would be back there with all the other silver medallions. You know, you know what's crazy, though? Last row, empty. Mm. I had the whole row to myself. That's Bathroom awesome. was right there. Did you lie down? No, I know. I didn't. Sometimes if I have the road myself, I'll, I'll like sit up against the window and kick it. I put all it was four, a, all three. It was a middle, down. like three seats, no window seat. Oh, it was a huge plane. You know I haven't I mean? been in one of those planes since I was like a baby. You what? You haven't been in a, a plane with seats with three rows with the one with the one in the middle. Where were you going when you were a baby? I don't know. Florida? How do you remember that? I don't know fucking Florida. I don't remember baby. Whatever. All right. Let's hear some pitches. Okay. That was drawn out too far. That (laughs) honestly sucked. I didn't even like that. I I, I didn't know where I was going with the bit. You can just cut that all from the episode. (laughs) Uh. Okay. First pitch is from 
Hamza El Haj, he says, um, riddle me this. You've woken up. What? I was trying to figure out if like like Hamza El Haj was like like one of those things. Yeah, just keep going. No, it's just his name. I know that now. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. You've woken up on a cold, rainy day in your shitty room and you have to walk to your university. The route isn't... Ooh, British? What? Okay, go ahead. And you have to walk to your university. Like, that's like what a British person would say. Oh, yes. Then maybe. Or Australian. The route isn't that nice. It's boring. A couple trees. I guess that's nice, but mostly cars, buildings, and gravel. The day ahead looks gloomy. Well, what if you could change that with lenses? Now, like lenses... That's his tr- trademark, whatever. Now your boring commute can be curated. It's VR. Color graded and themed by a director and movie of your choice. Want the buildings to transform from gray to a plethora of symmetrical pastel ho- tell- hotels? Yeah, like Wes Anderson. Want everybody to talk to you in a performatively stoic drawl? <laughs> well, ogle your goggles. What? To toggle your mind will boggle. <laughs> what is this? It's like w- insane wordplay going Wait, that on. That was here. the craziest sentence. Ogle your m- goggles to toggle your I mind. I think he's saying ogle your goggles to toggle your something. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that, <laughs> I think that's what he's trying to say. Ogle your goggles to toggle your mind will boggle. I like it. <laughs> say your crush is walking over. You begin to get nervous. They're so beautiful, they never go for a sad sack like me. Oh yeah. my god. I feel that. Wait, I'm like laugh crying. Wait a second, I have lenses. Make them into an ogre. Wait a second now. No, she what? has a big hat and is talking kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, I have the Goofy setting on. Now I'm not nervous because my crush looks and sounds just like Goofy because of the product. Nice. I love that. I like it too. I love the ogle bogle. But that sentence was hard. It's called lenses. I like it. I would invest. I was saying I like that sentence. What would you do with your gut, with your lenses? Okay, well, first of all, I'm pretty sure this is like, just like a, would be yeah. like an app on like the Apple Vision Pro or whatever. Yeah. But I would make my lenses make everyone, every time I walk by them, say, hey, I think you're doing a great job. Yeah. Don't overthink our relationship. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, that's just my, my existence is just. I would just make them. Look like people and th- that uh, that I want to apologize to me. Yeah. They're all saying they're sorry. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> sorry to me would be good. Too. Why? Why do you want them to apologize? Because I've been hurt. <laughs> That's it's fair. too late to apologize. All right, that was a nice little yeah, one. Growing up, I monetized. growing up, I always thought that song was "It's Too Late to Apologize" because he doesn't really like hit the first letter. It's too late. And I was like trying to figure out what that meant. Oh, you thought it was like a different word? I'm just old looking in my brain. Yeah. Apologize. It it's too word. late to apologize. That sounds like it should be a word. Yeah. Yeah. Like possum is opossum. Yeah, kind of. All right, let's hear the second one. Hmm. Okay. Next one is from... That was like... It sounded so defeated. <laughs> I know, I know. I didn't mean that. Okay, this is from Lila Nelson. She says, or she has the speaker equalizer... You know when you're watching a video slash movie slash TV show and the volumes in each scene vary? Yeah. Like in a movie, the dialogue is regular volume, then it cuts to a montage with a song blasting. No more changing the volume on your remote every scene. I introduced the speaker equalizer. This is a speaker you can plug into any TV. You pick your preferred volume and everything you watch on that TV will be the same volume level. Additionally, if you decide to blend a smoothie or run to the bathroom, the speaker will catch up on that noise and increase the volume. If you get a phone call, you're making a <laughs> if you get a phone call or have the urge to watch a TikTok, then the speaker will decrease. Thanks, boys and lore dog. Love the pod. Love it. Um, I, you know what yeah. I would use it for? The Malcolm in the Middle theme song for some reason is like ten times louder than the rest of the show. Yeah. So like every time a new episode starts, it wakes up everyone in my my house. That's how I was going to say the same thing about Star Wars. Yeah. The I, was, I watched Rogue One the other night and like fell asleep. During it, yeah, and at, and then I just woke up to like, dah, dah, yeah. I was like, oh too my loud. god, it's too loud. Yeah, da, 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 na, 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 you na, watch Malcolm. Na, 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 Is that the Dewey? Theme Malcolm song? Dewey? Malcolm Dewey? Na, 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 na. Reese. No. Do you watch that at, at early in the morning or at night? Malcolm in the middle? Um, just kind of whenever. I've never seen the show. You've never seen Malcolm in the middle? Dewey, you'd like Dewey. I oh, mean, funny character. Uh, all right, let's hear some friggin' or should we pitch each other? Oh yeah, I got a big pitch. All right, lay it on me. Fish. 
I don't understand why you print yours out. Because <laughs> then I don't have to look at my phone. We're already on our screen so much. You know? I feel like I'm constantly staring at my phone. Yeah, it's really depressing, actually, you I are. Agree. <laughs> but why the yellow font? Because uh, we're out of the, black and white yeah. ink. <laughs> so I, have to I, thought, I thought you just wanted to challenge your eyes. No, but it works. It, it, it was really hard to read just now. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Ready. So today, I, I took, I, as I mentioned, I flew in this morning. This is going to be a real story, not a prank. Okay? Okay. I get out in the air, like walk out into the baggage claim. A guy picks me up, throws me onto the conveyor <laughs> belt. <laughs> I'm dizzy. I'm spinning. No, okay. I was. I was thought I was gonna. I, I was wearing sweatpants on the airplane, yeah. and then I came right into work, and then I was like, "Oh, this is kind of unprofessional." So I changed. Mm-hmm. Double sided pants. It's sweatpants <laughs> on one side, and normal pants on the other, and you can just reverse them. I like that. L.L. Bean used to make fleece, or they still do, but like I would have fleece-lined, fleece-lined pants. So like, but this is more like about was... what you're seeing than what you're feeling. Okay, so uh, like, but it, like on the inside of my khakis right now, it would just be sweatpants. Yeah, cool. Which would make it awesome when you're wearing them as khakis. Can I can I poke a hole in it? <sighs> you always. If the inside is part. khaki and I'm wearing the sweatpants side, it's not that comfy. I would almost just be wearing the sweatpants side always. Like, the sweatpants are on the inside always, because it's like, it doesn't really matter what's on the outside. I just want to feel like I'm in sweatpants. Yeah, that is a huge hole. <laughs> um, okay. We'll work on it. Yeah. Can you not fucking in human? <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, I got one. Fuck. It's, it's personal PR. So, like, when a celebrity fucks up, they have the advantage of, like, their PR team can just go and, like, do damage control... But, like, the average Joe, if you mess up, like, it's kind of... The burden's on you yeah. to figure everything out. So, like, let's say you and I go out and, like, I get too drunk or something and, like, make a fool out of myself. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't because my PR, te- my PR team's just going to flip it in the morning. You got drugged. Maybe. They spin it in some <laughs> way. They may even, like, shift blame to, like, Lauren. They're like, no, Lauren was the one doing all that crazy stuff. Um, they will, like, plant Instagram stories of you doing, like... <laughs> volunteer work to like try and get back in the good graces of people to be like I like this. Rusty's been like Rusty's been working on himself. Um yeah, stuff like that. Just That's a great. lot of fun stuff like that. I like that. Sold. Cool. You could use it. All right. Get fucked. Okay, we're taking a quick break because we are excited to announce our new presenting sponsor of the Playdate podcast, Triple High Seltzer. It's the original high seltzer. It's delicious. Three milligrams of THC. It's only 15 to 20 calories. Here's the thing. I actually did on Saturday. I tripled it up. I, tri- I, I quadrupled, tripled, if you will. Uh, I think what's cool about them is that they're not like some of the other ones that are like super high like yeah. THC content. And then you just like are in a completely different world as the people that you're with that are drinking a White Claw or whatever, you know. You have your triple... It makes you feel fun and social, but it doesn't make you feel scared or sleepy, uh, which which can happen. So I thought these were great. They're like easy, crushable. Uh, doesn't change the trajectory of your day, but it makes you feel like you can have fun without drinking alcohol too. No hangover either. Or, yeah, which is pretty pretty massive for a, for a guy like me. Yeah. Guys, triple will be available in total wine locations, grocery stores, liquor stores, bars, and restaurants in Florida and Texas in April. It is currently available online nationwide go pick yourself up a couple four packs and have a great weekend i personally also can i just say one other yeah. thing grapefruit flavor delicious i haven't had that one yet but i really liked the lime the, i'm a i'm a just generally a grapefruit guy and this is very tastefully executed on their part awesome let's get back into the episode um let's hear <laughs> some am i the assholes Ooh. okay um so I th- i'm thinking for our next episode i'm gonna we can maybe call someone again yeah because we had someone ask, but I was like, eh, I already had two chosen, but just... Wait, they asked if we could call? Yeah, but... Dude, let's call him. Yeah, just call him. Let's just call him right now. Give him uh, a ring. Did you say no? Well, I didn't respond. I, I was just looking through yeah, DMs and I already right had Give him a ring. Just call him right If now. they pick up, great. If they don't... Okay. If they don't... We also got really lucky that the first guy picked up immediately. I like, I don't think that's going to be the case with... Well, yeah. Especially because, like, I don't have notifications on for Instagram, so I well, wouldn't... Obviously. Do you? You would get too many. I'm gassing you up. Yeah. 
Okay, I found the DM, so we're gonna give this man's a ring. Let's see. I don't have any content. Like we, like last time we like had like a. I know we have. He just said he could either send a voice memo or we could call him. So I was like, Oh my god, he answered. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. How are you? Hi. I'm swell. What's your name? Am I on the pod? You are yeah, on the pod. We're recording. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll just dive into it, huh? Wait, what's your name? You can give a fake name, too, if you want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, my name's Tim. It's my real name. That's, <laughs> that's my dad's name. Hell yeah. Hey, is this your dad? Oh, hell yeah. Your dad's got a dope name, man. Yeah, he does. He does. All right, Tim, what's your, what's your problem? Here, I just, I just stepped out of the office, so let me get my walk out. What do you do? It's like crowd work. <laughs> Satellites. Satellites. Yeah, I work for a, a company that I'll, I'll I'll leave the company name out. But yeah, <laughs> yeah fair. He works. He stuff. works on a satellite. <laughs> he, he just stepped out into space. He's in the ISS right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm flying around at eight thousand miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim. Tell us. Tell us a little bit about your problem and what you're going through. Uh, so it's basically the problem's been dealt. I just don't know how gracefully i dealt with it so uh, i'll give you the rundown so basically i uh, i started dating this girl and things were going well oh yeah and uh, we've hung out a few times at this point and i think last tuesday it was like our, our fifth date and we're out we're gonna go have some coffee and then we're gonna go to go, uh, a comedy show nice. and uh, so we're out getting coffee and uh, so i live in like the dc area and uh and so she's like i've got this friend He's coming into town next weekend, and I'm trying to think of things to do. He visits me every year, and he's staying for, like, four days. And uh, and so in my head, I'm like, okay, you know, I just started seeing this girl. I'm not going to get all, like, possessive or territorial. It's a, a, a dude. I don't know what the situation is. But basically, she's trying to think of unique ways to spend time in the city. Right. And uh, so I've got these buddies. I, a real quick shout-out to the Potomac Paddle Club. Uh, it's basically, they took like a trolley pub, but they put it on the river. It's actually sick. That's awesome. Um, my buddy started that company. So I told them, I told her, I was like, you could do that. It's a unique way to see like the monuments guarantees never done that before. Hmm. So she goes, uh, she goes, Oh, that sounds fun. He's not really big. Like he's not a big into like parties or like social scenes. And, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Maybe he's like autistic or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> So I try to think of something more low key, and so I was like, "Oh, you could do like a guided tour of Mount Vernon. Like that's super low key historical. You might learn something. Might be fun." And uh, and, she, and she goes, mm, "Yeah, if we do a guided tour, like we'd probably still be in a group, right?" And at this point, <laughs> I'm like, "Alarm bells going off!" Oh <laughs> God, what are you talking about? What's the what's the problem if you see grandmas and grandkids? Yeah. And so I asked her. I was like what's up with your boy is he like agoraphobic or something like what's the story here and she goes uh she's like well, well here's the thing he grew up around the corner from me we've been friends my whole life it's brock turner is her friend oh if that, is he the baseball he goes, baseball player give it a quick google no wait he's is he oh the, no that harvard guy no stanford oh, stanford. oh fuck yeah. oh that's wild fuck. that's wild <laughs> What the fuck? She's just having stay at her place for four days. Wait, can is, what the fuck? He he murdered that gir- girl. He raped he her. He raped girl. a girl like behind a dumpster when she was. Oh, like, and he got, got away drunk. with it. Yeah, it was like he's the OJ of swimming. The girl, like never took accountability for yeah. it. Was like an asshole during all the proceedings. Like oh my, only went to jail for three months, God. and then it's just like you know now he's just chilling. He's like a homeowner now. He's like a fucking engineer. Like scumbag how does he have a job like notorious piece of shit yeah yeah and uh like a, a very famous household name piece of shit yeah yeah and uh you know so naturally i'm like well what the fuck <laughs> like, why, why, <laughs> yeah why is this guy coming and visiting you for four days like i it's, i totally get if he's just your childhood friend but then surely you would have cut him off after all that shit right yeah apparently not and, uh, you know, but she goes into, like, all of this, like, you don't know him like I know him. Like, I've never known him to do anything wrong, to which I'm like, well, I've known him to do one thing pretty fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah, I can... And, uh, Holy shit. but yeah, so basically, you know, 
uh, we basically, you know, we were at coffee. It was so much to process in that moment. I just kept laughing because of how just absurd it was. But, uh, yeah, we finished up getting coffee, went to the comedy club, and then, uh, you know, went back to her place and, like, hooked up, and then I left. And I just called all of my friends. <laughs> I was like, dude, yeah. you have no idea what the fuck I did. That's insane. And, yeah. Yeah, just the nuttiest fucking thing. Uh, but, yeah, then I called her the next day, and I was like, listen, like, you know, I, the, I, I don't want to put you in a position where you're going to have to choose between your friend and me. You know, this is like a very new thing. I would never I would never put you in that position. But I'm also not going to like share a social space with that dude. This is a headline to me. I'm not trying to have him in my social life at all. And I was just like, so I'm just going to like recuse myself from like any relationship with you all the best. And that was that. Yeah. And then she like, you know, and I think I handled it fine. But then she like texted me a bunch of stuff like oh, I had a really tough time with this. And like. To be fully honest, I just didn't feel like walking her through like why everything about it was like a huge red flag to me. Yeah, no, you and, shouldn't. Uh, and then I just blocked her on everything. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Am I an asshole for doing that? Or no, 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 no. You, I, I you, handled, you handled that like the most mature I was gonna way that. you could possibly do that. Okay. Very yeah, mature. That's what I figured. That's, that's kind of how I feel about it. It's just a real weird one. That is, it's one of the most that's, like shocking people that it could be. Yeah, that I took a heard crazy that name turn. in forever. Did was she really hesitant to say it or? Y- yeah, I mean, so she was like, "Yeah, it's my friend Brock," and I'm just like, "Oh my god, maybe it's Brock Purdy. Maybe that's why he wants." Oh. To <laughs> yeah, no, it was like the opposite of Brock Purdy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so sick. Uh, oh man, yeah, Tim, that's a crazy scenario to find yourself in but i think you handled it very very well i don't th- i would have just been i'm more concerned for her safety that he's sleeping at her house for that many days yeah well she's never known him to do anything wrong yeah so, thankfully i don't even have that much else to say about it to be honest you're definitely yeah, not honestly, the asshole so <laughs> yeah I, I'm, I, I didn't feel like the asshole yeah. i just felt like you guys would enjoy that story we did yeah that's an insane story yeah. <laughs> That is ins- also like I'm just trying to think like at Mount Vernon in a tour group are people going to recognize this guy? I feel like is that how I fucked would, his life is at this point? He has a pretty like jarring look, right? Like he has like white hair and like Does he's he? like isn't he like isn't he like pretty easily he's just like a blonde dude? I think like he's just like a normal looking white, white dude. dude. Yeah. I thought he, I always thought he had really red lips or something. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, Tim, thank you for uh, for picking up our call. This has been one of the craziest "Am I the assholes?" We've heard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is he still there? Did we lose him? Oh, oh, the call just ended. Oh, maybe we lost service. Maybe. Oh, just... wait, he's calling back. Yeah. Hi. Hello. All right, we lost him, but that is Tim. fucking wild. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't even know how to like. Maybe just shoot him a DM and be like, All right. be like I don't know. What that happened. was crazy. I feel like even aside from the fact that it's Brock Turner, like if I was newly talking to yeah. a girl and she was like, oh, my guy friends. It doesn't matter. if like, you, I don't think you're possessive and like clingy to be a little offended by her wanting to. Yeah. Go and hang out with this. I don't know. Yeah. Also, like, don't make it like, what should I do with Yeah. Him? Like, plan, like, plan yeah. our dates, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like, that would piss My me friend off. OJ is coming in town. What should, <laughs> I, what should I take him to do? Yeah. Just say, like, hey, sorry, the call dropped. But yeah. Thanks. My my initial thing was I thought right, my mind immediately went to Brock Lesnar at first. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I was thinking, like, a base. We both thought baseball. Yeah. It just sounds like a baseball. Yeah. Brock Turner. Damn. That uh, one's like fucked. The whole yeah, he's de- he, Tim is definitely not the asshole. He sounds like a very nice guy, and like he yeah. thought he thought all of that through very well. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You know who is the asshole? Brock Turner. Brock Turner is yeah. definitely the asshole. How? Wait, he was like he's an engineer now. Basically, what? he had no consequences. No, I know, but I'm saying like who hired him? Right. All you have to do know. is a simple Google search, and then yeah, there's probably enough like business owners out there that are like. Have really fucked up, yeah. Outlooks on the world, That's yeah. True. Like, all right, that was fucking wild. Um, let's hear another one. Yeah, Damn. Jesus Christ, okay. it, you couldn't have you couldn't have written that. No, no. That's insanity. Okay, so I have two 
other ones, but they're both pretty good. But I'm just going to choose one yeah. since we ended up calling the guy. Um, also, we should... Guys, if you want to call in, just these have, these have all been a blast. Yeah. Just be like, yeah. hey, I'm... If you're free, uh, if you're free at... On Mondays at 1 p.m. Pacific or 4 p.m. Eastern, give us a yeah. sh- give us a shout. Just shoot us a DM. We'll call or you. 3 p.m. Central. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or okay. Alert, alert the media. PM, Lawrence from Chicago. 2 p.m. Mountain Time. God. Get real. Get real. Um, <laughs> grow up. Okay. But but only if you have something. Only if you have a real. If you come on here and fuck with us. <laughs> we're not. We're gonna be. Fewer. We're gonna be po- posting a posting your address. One time, I think I've already told you this, but I was playing COD one time and, and uh, was just shit talking this guy in my lobby. And he was like, check the, you know, you can like see your like kills and deaths. When yeah. I clicked the back button, instead of my username, it was my exact address <laughs> of my home, of my parents' house. And I had to turn my Xbox off. Jesus Christ. Pretty scary stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, next one. I fucking hate these chairs. I know. They're always slouchy. Yeah, I do always. Maybe we should you. get new ones. You guys should get new ones. What? Maybe you should put any requests for new ones. When we move to the new office, I don't, don't have that kind of pull. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Okay, this is from. I'm not going to even use his name. Let's use uh, Sean. Sure, Sean. Okay, Will, Rusty, and Lauren. That's I us. am in a bit of a sticky situation and would love some input. However, I'm not sure if there's a scenario that ends in me not being an asshole. Ooh. There always is. A little bit of context. I, I like that you called in the big guns, though. You're in a you're in a tough situation. Like, I wonder what Will and Rusty and Lauren would have yeah, to say about well, this. Well, we're the authorities on stuff. <laughs> I have two close friends that I've been close with what, since I was in grade school. Let's call them Scott and Brian. The three of us used to all be close up until high school, in which we kind of went our separate ways. Since graduating, I keep in touch with them regularly, but the two of them have grown apart. <laughs> Scott and Brian have grown apart, but the, but Sean's still close with them. Yes, them yeah. two have grown yeah, apart. Yeah. Did you make up Scott and Brian too? No, he he gave me those names, but right. they're fake. I'm assuming. Scott has an extremely attractive mother. For as long as I hey. re- for as long as I remember, he is. He I is, like where this is going. He has been <laughs> at the receiving end of sexual mom jokes, Ooh. but they have always only ever been jokes. Wait, uh, Scott, Scott ha- Scott's mom. It, it, Scott has a hot mom, and and she's making innuendos to Sean. No, 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 no. She, it's not. It's Scott not clear. has been the subject of jokes about his mom. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. Yeah, P- kids have busted on Scott for him yeah. having a hot mom. Busted on him. <laughs> That's you say that. I'm busting. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm just busting your chops. I'm busting. Yeah, on. you don't. You don't. Bu- you know, you don't bust on people. Yeah, you, <laughs> hey, you I'm bust- just saying. No, you're trying. You, yes, you do. It's like, dude, are you no, you no, you like quit busting my balls. You don't say quit no. busting on me. You say busting on me. <laughs> if you were like Google, it, sh- Google, it, Google, it, if, if you, Google. No, 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 no. We're not getting into this. But if you, you're wrong because you know you're wrong. I'm you, busting on you. That's if what you, you <laughs> if you, if you came in, put wait, uh, busting on you. <laughs> do not Google that. To harass somebody or give them a hard time in a friendly fashion. Oh, meaning a bust on somebody. <laughs> All right, I stand, I stand corrected. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, I forgot. Where I the was. one under it said to physically attack someone as with punches or, and or other blows. <laughs> okay, well, that's urban. He was dignity. busting on me. Was, Quit busting on me. It's, Quit yanking my ball bag. It's busting on me. All right, me. let me finish. Okay. So a few months ago, I was out getting drinks with a few friends and Brian. Next thing you know, Scott's mom shows up and joins us. Now, at this <laughs> point in the night, I was... Wait, well- Scott's not there. Scott is not sounds there. Sounds like not. That's weird. He, a few drinks and Brian, so it doesn't seem like Scott's there. Okay. Now, at this point in the night, I was well on my way to Hammer, so I just figured she was out and happened to run into us and join us because we haven't seen her in a while. Come to find out that wasn't the case. About a week ago, Brian told me that he has been regularly hooking up with Scott's mom. I figured it was a joke until he showed me proof of the text conversations. He was adamant. I don't tell anyone because he was the only... Wait, oh, because he had only told one other person. So if I tell Scott that Brian is hooking up with his mom, Brian would likely know who told him and never speak to me again. However, I don't know if I can look at Scott in the face ever again and keep that from him. I know that if I was Scott, I would want to know. Is there a good way to handle this situation? I'm looking forward to some advice. Yeah, there is a good way to handle the situation. We just need to get to the bottom of it. I think you have to... So Brian, like... 
Scott hasn't done anything wrong, right? So I Correct. think in, initial my initial reaction is more on the side of like help Scott out. Yeah, I think you have to tell Scott. You have to tell Scott Brian's, because Brian's being a massive, massive piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Unequivocally. Well, I don't know. you can't do that to your friend. No, you can't. But they've drifted apart. Still. Still. No. Have That's they, the shittiest thing of all. Yeah, if I found out Brian was busting on my mom, I'd be fucking <laughs> I'd be furious. Um, yeah, yeah you, no, you, you, should you, tell you should Scott, tell Scott, but let's go down that avenue. Now, this is what happens. You tell Scott. Scott's honestly mad at you also because you're somehow... No, why is Scott mad at you? Because you knew about it and like you waited it a little... Like he just found out. Okay. All right. You go and tell him, but then you're like... He's like, well, how'd you find out? And I'm like, well, I was having drinks with your mom and Brian, you have to really hit home that, like, I didn't know about this. Yeah. This was, like, sprung on me. I'm in a tough situation. Like, I feel like I need to tell you. I think if you go to Scott and you're the one, that's how Scott finds out, I don't think he's going to be, like, mad at you. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I feel like but you you're immediately losing, just go for Brian. You lose yeah. Brian as a friend. Well, Brian lost you as a friend when he started true. sleeping with one of your friend's mom. That's true. I don't think this is as fi- as fuzzy as your... No, it's not. I'm just real. I'm like, yeah. You, then you have to weigh like, are you better friends with Scott or Brian? I'd say you want to be better friends with Scott because Brian yeah. sounds kind of like a bad guy right now. I mean, yeah. It's just- Given the opportunity, though, hooking up with someone's mom would take some se- or turning that down would take some serious willpower. It's it's it sounds like creepy. I don't know how old these guys are, but that oh, they just graduated high school, so they're in college. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, where'd he go? God, that's like. So maybe even like Brian's like oh, almost wait. like a victim then. Uh, so I responded. I was like, "This is wild. Thanks for sending. We're gonna discuss." He said, "Thank you. I'm really looking forward to some advice. You three are the only ones I can get advice from right now because it's a secret." So he's yeah, really relying on us. We're gonna get. We're gonna get you. Dude, you will. There was no. There's no good thing that will come from waiting or withhold. Your obligation as a friend of Scott's is to tell him. I I agree, but let's also think about the fact that now Scott and his mom are in some pretty hot waters as well because i'm mad at my mom now yeah correct so are you protecting scott and you go to brian you say hey Bri, you gotta fucking cut this out like this didn't happen you stop hooking up with scott's mom to save scott and his mom's relationship so then you but then you're fucking yourself if you're sean because the eventually if he finds out then you're part of it too yeah that's true and then you you're just then you lose scott as a friend what if you go to Scott's mom and you say you have to tell your you son. say you have to tell Sean. or I'll you tell have him. to tell Scott or I'm going to tell him that's what you should, you should blackmail his mom don't blackmail her <laughs> I think like I think like no I mean like just be like I'm going oh, to dude but it, that almost yeah might the be mom way worse what, what? This is like I, th- if I'm Scott like I'm going to be furious n- however the news gets delivered to me I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to tell him is because like then maybe you go bang Brian's mom. <laughs> You and you and Scott, you and Scott <laughs> Eiffel Tower, Brian's mom. Jesus Christ. Um, no, don't do that. But I think kind of your two options right now. Should we get him on the horn as well? I mean, what's the horn <laughs> limit? There's no horn limit. <laughs> I think they patched it. I think we. Should I think we it's call un- him? Yeah. unlimited horn glitch. Think... Should I call him? Yeah, give him a ring. <laughs> this. This is an awesome feature that we can just get in touch with anyone we want. Yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> you guy who's like Alexander up. Graham Bell over here. <laughs> Do you want, okay, I'm calling him. Yeah, give him a ring. I don't think he's going to want to. That's it. I, this one felt like a little more like if these people are all still in his life. <laughs> well, I just want to know if he has a, the ability to get in touch with Scott's mom. Yeah, but he's going to... He- It is, it's just fun that we have the power to do this. <laughs> <laughs> we should just start calling, like... Random followers yeah, yeah. that haven't even sent us a message. Yeah. He doesn't want to answer. Yeah. Um, all right, so now, I think... Now I feel like we're being creepy. I think option number option number one is you tell Scott directly. Yep. I think that's the safest, like, cleanest way to do it. But I think if you want to help... What? Sorry. Right after I got off the call, remember the guy... Who was pulling the suitcase? Yeah. He died. Yeah. That was like yeah. two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. sorry. I'm not. It's okay. I just the, stay on top of that kind of stuff. The cl- <laughs> I don't follow Dave Portnoy. I just popped up. 
the the clean name. the cleanest option. <laughs> no freak. You go straight to Scott. You tell Scott what you know. You're like, I'm so sorry. Yep. Couldn't keep this from you. Here's what I know. I'm so sorry. Option, but then I think him and his mom are going to get into like a a tussle or whatever. I think that'll happen irregardless. Yeah, but I think you. I think if you tell if you tell Scott's mom. She has the chance to be like, listen, like this happened, you know, and she can give her side of the story. Maybe she's lonely. Maybe there's some other stuff going on there. Um, yeah. But also, if you tell Scott's mom, she gets the chance to now spin it and maybe spin you as the bad guy. True. Or just spin it in a way that's not accurate of what happened. I think you just tell Scott. There's a third possibility. Mm-hmm. That would be best for our personal ratings. You give us Scott's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> and we get him on the horn. We tell Scott. Oh no, no. Uh, I, yeah, no. Which I, we would do if you wanted us to do that. Yeah, there's no. I, I would not feel comfortable being part of that moment. I would say. I would say you just got to go straight to Scott. I think you tell Scott. Yeah, it's gonna suck, but you're the good guy. You're, you're you doing did, the right. You thing. did nothing wrong. Yeah. So I think that's the smart move. Hundred percent. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, therapy is sick. I went to it in college, and it was super helpful for me. And I can't recommend it enough if if maybe you just think your chicken might need a little work or there's something you want to talk through or you're feeling not like yourself or anxious or tired or any stuff like that, therapy can be super helpful and it's nothing to be ashamed of or scared of. And the good thing about BetterHelp is it makes it really easy because it's all online and it rocks. So I can't recommend it enough. Uh, it's convenient, flexible. They'll suit to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire. You get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch anytime for no extra charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash PD today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PD. Let's get back into the episode. Let's hear another one. This is fun. Let's do one. Let's do the other one. Yeah, let's do the other good one. I don't see why not. Shit, a brother like me, man? brother a brother okay this <laughs> okay this one is from big t is his nickname nice big t yo 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 lauren and her little guys One time out that's us love this guy's vibe <laughs> 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 yeah. yo 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 lauren and, lauren little and her little guys okay wanted to drop a story in here about a recent incident in my dating life that's also kind of an am i the asshole i guess I went out with this girl I met on Hinge two times. I'm six seven. How did you and meet her on Hinge two times. What he, he said? He said I went out with the girl that I met on Hinge. Two times. <laughs> How did you meet her two times? <laughs> okay. Dude, my fucking oh my god! Yeah, are you scrunching it's your insane. pants? Yeah, these chairs are like in scrunchio meters. I can like taste my boxers. They're so far up there. <laughs> Ew. Sorry. So can I. So I can. These, yeah, I'm a these chairs are so uncomfortable. These, chair, <laughs> these chairs. <laughs> these chairs are so uncomfortable. I can taste Will's boxers. <laughs> um. So we went out with this girl two times. I'm six seven and she was six two, nice. which isn't relevant. But just no, that's cool. relevant. That is that, that is, is definitely fun. relevant. You're a total of. 13. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> but just cool. And it was a really fun experience for me. How often are you combining the height with the girl that you're going out with? That's what I'm wondering. No, you... <laughs> 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 what? Like getting on her shoulders? You. No, I'm saying you were like combined your 13 feet. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, no, that number yeah, means nothing to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. How tall are you and me together? Seven, twelve. Wait, how tall are you guys? I'm six foot. Well, if Will's six foot, then I'm like f- I thought I was six foot. So if I'm you're six t- one, sure, you're, you'll be six. I can be six. Okay, I'll 12, take six. We're twelve one. My doctor said I'm six feet and one quarter inch. So when people ask me how tall I am, I just say five eleven because I don't want to get into the like. Oh, you're not six feet. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm six three. <laughs> one time, uh. My buddy Jack's girlfriend didn't believe that I was six feet, and they brought out a measuring tape and made me take my shoes off. At there was like it was like a party happening at their house in mm-hmm. college. And they measured me against the wall. Were you? Yeah. Nice. That's funny. Um, Sorry, Big T. What's it? so combined? I know. Third, yeah, combined they're so 13. tall. This is like the March Madness. Blah 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 blah. It's not relevant, but just cool. And it was a really funny. Wait, this experience. guy's six seven. Holy! Can I finish? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. 
Yes, he's six. Sorry, I forgot what we were doing here. I forgot why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, do you do you have another thing to say? No, sorry. He no. said it's not relevant. We'll jump back in. Okay. Um, we'll be the judges of that. But it was just a fun experience for me to be out with someone of my proportions. It or She was really nice and we had fun, but there wasn't great chemistry. I'm more extroverted than she she was more introverted Then a few days after our last date we'd been texting she had an easter family get together and talking about me to some of her family she finds out that we're pretty distantly related her mom is my grandma's cousin bottom line she tells me and said she did research about how pause her mom yeah i was thinking the same thing that's different. her mom is her her mom is his grandma's cousin. So her oh, mom's her mo- old. Her mom's 104. Or his grandma's not 104? <laughs> no, his grandma's probably 104. Be, You're right. Be funny is if like if like the problem was that he found out that they were both from like an eternal bloodline. <laughs> like Twilight where like they can't die. And so it's like <laughs> couldn't do. I just thought that'd be fun. <laughs> Would be funny if they're both fucking Vampires. wizards. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so they're distantly related. Yeah, bottom line, blah, 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 blah. She did research about how it would be genetically fine based on how far it was, but yeah. I used the out and said I wasn't comfortable with it, which is true, even though I was just not that into her. That's yeah. insane. Um, so so she she's like, no, it's fine. We're in that like kind of sweet spot. For sweet spot, for, it's crazy. That implies <laughs> you never heard Dwight Dwight Schrute said that third cousins are the sweet spot for breeding. <laughs> oh. Um, so he's asking if he's the asshole for lying about that. About how he I wasn't. don't really know what he's asking. I, I think that's just a fun. I trick, think he man. just he wanted to break it down. Yeah, yeah. I think he just wanted to tell us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I get. I would. That would be weird. So, ma, Lauren, Google how, what kind of cousins you'd be if your mom's grandma's cousin is her mom. <laughs> Pull that up. <laughs> no, 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 I got. It. If your grandma, my mom's grandma's cousin. How am I related to my mother's grand to my grandmother's cousin? Yeah. You're the first cousin, first cousin twice removed. No, they're, no, they're they're only one generation off. It'd be. Uh, oh. Second cousin once removed. Yeah, there. I mean, okay. Here's the thing. I think if you can, if you can even articulate what they are to you, it's too close. Even if it's confusing, I think if you can fit it into a sentence, which he could. Yeah, that's too close. Yeah, I wonder. Like, is there marriage in there? Is it all blood? So, like, I grew up with a girl. We're really good friends now, but it turns out. We are like related through marriage, and like we w- we like wouldn't have known that in high school, or like we found out in high school. You don't mean you're married? No, no, we're related through like s- people getting Other married. People so we don't. Married. There's no yeah, shared yeah. blood, but that would have I would have felt weird about that. Yeah, um, I agree with that. I think what you have, what's his name again? Big T. Yeah, Big T. I think what you need to think about here is she's six two and you're six seven. So like. If you can get over that initial weirdness, you could kind of create a pretty dominant basketball family. On the flip side of that, the fact that they're like similar in height is like could be a, a result of their relation. Yeah, no, but you're not thinking big picture enough. Like, like, oh, oh, here's another thing. Even if, if you guys are related, like, that's only going to help their on court chemistry too. Like, <laughs> they, they, oh my! God. They share Maybe get like, an extra finger. Or something yeah, they share, to help put some spin they, on the ball. They share like an X or Y chromosome. Yeah, in, they have one in common. Um, I think you give it a shot. I well, think you. I think you. I think you give it a shot. He's not that into. He it. wasn't that into it. Though. I know, but it's a I, great out. Yeah, it is a good out. But like, you got to think long term here, and you could. You could get some serious height. Out of yeah, this. six two and six seven, like your babies are gonna be fucking ginormous. Yeah, I mean, but based I, off their trajectory, your babies also might be might have fucking three eyes. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. No, I think uh, I think if you want an out, you found a pretty good one. But I think you think about it. I think you think about it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, if you were like in love, that would be a uh, yeah. I don't know. I would call my priest or something. I don't even believe yeah, in. I'd find. I gotta find a find God and then call my priest. Would you? 
Would you feel comfortable dating someone that is technically a cousin? No. 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 You'd feel comfortable? No. You'd feel uncomfortable? Why? Do, it's, it feels like you <laughs> You keep trying to steer me that way. It seems like... Or no, you already said you wouldn't be. Either way. No, I definitely think, would be, dude. He would be weird. He's been drawing this out. He yeah, wants I'd to be, date his I'd cousin. Be, I'd be weird. I'd You're be weird. You're a freak. No, I'd be weird enough. But. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I can't wait to get your real answer <laughs> off camera. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we teach each other something? Yeah. That was All a right. great round of... That was a good one. Yeah, that was... We were red hot today. All right. Have you guys ever heard of Lem Billings? No. No. Lem Billings was JFK's like best buddy, okay. right? So they met at Choate and uh More like, like Chode, right? Go Deerfield. Go right. Deerfield. <laughs> <laughs> my uh my buddy went to Deerfield when they would play Choate, they would roast uh, like a real pig. Yeah, Isn't that my, crazy. My college roommate went there. Yeah. Yeah. Um so they meet at Choate and like instantly hit it off. They like doing things like smoking cigarettes behind the bushes, like pulling pranks on people. Yeah. Just instantly Good vibes. Lem, keep in mind, this is like the 40s, 30s, 40s. Uh, Lem is openly gay, which is pretty cool. And JFK uh, and him, you know, just instantly become buddies. And that kind of sparks some like, well, are they like, are they gay together rumors? Fast forward to the presidency. He has his own room at the White House. Like he sleeps at the White House. He's not, he's not like a family member or anything. That's like very... And they had to keep it a secret that he had a room there. He was apparently around so much that, like, other people at the White House thought that he must be, like, Secret Service or, like, a like a like an aide of some sort. But he was just, like, his boy. That's awesome. That would hang around. Um, yeah. And basically, like, the whole thing is that when Lem died, apparently he said that him and JFK had been intimate before. But... When he wrote like a letter to JFK, like there's like there's like historical record that JFK said like no. So he wrote him like a love letter and JFK replied like, I'm not that kind of boy or something. But people think that they were sleeping together. And I just think it's very interesting that like they were close enough that he was like staying at the White House. Like, do you know how good of a friend you have to be? Yeah, like if I was president, I I think I maybe, would have a room. Maybe I'd like help you get a spot nearby. But I think yeah, in get my like house a- <laughs> it'd be like a bit much. Get me like a townhouse by Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, though. Isn't that pretty cool? I didn't know that at all. Yeah. yeah. That's very interesting. What do you think, Lauren? Is that interesting? Yeah, it was great. Cool. I loved it. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I, th- I thought I'd give you a fun, fun fact about the history of the of March Madness. If Please. You know. Yes. First uh, NCAA tournament was in 1908 or mm-hmm. something. And actually, just two years before the NIT came to exist. Yep. The NIT was actually like the first one. Yeah, it used to be like the big like the big boys would play the yeah. NIT. Yeah. But then they also had this thing that was like like I don't know in soccer they do it where it's like the two leagues then they have like a game that they play yeah, amongst like a, the two winners. Yeah, like a um, a super copa. When like the AFC and the NFC would like win, they would like oh, play like the yes. Super Bowl and then that yeah. Be, yeah. So they had in the very first one of those the 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 backboards, I think the rims were the same height, but the backboards like went down lower. I'm not, I swear <laughs> to God. And the, there was a play at the end of the game where one of the players, I think on like the, whatever the NIT school was, I think it was like a... Uh, Which was one school used to the original type of backboard and one school... No, no, no the, like, all the backboards were oh, like that okay, back okay. then. Yeah, yeah, at that point. Yeah. Like, it was, I think it was like Holy Cross and like... Which is yeah. hysterical. I think they won a national. Holy Cross game. and like Williams. Yeah, it was like going, something like going toe to toe. Something like that. And the guy was in, who was defending the inbounder. Yeah. On, like towards the end of the game, like jumped up, to, like in his like motion, yeah. and he hit his head on the corner of the of the backboard, <laughs> and it started bleeding all over. And they had to pause it, and they never finished the game. Oh. And that's why they changed the height or like the size of the backboards. Interesting. Yeah. I would have thought it was because like. It wasn't just like slow white guys anymore. So they were like, that's way too low. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what year was this, Will? Um, type in, it's A P R I L F O. I get fucked. I made all that up. Stop. Wait, that was a joke as well? Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I believed you know it. That? I believed that it. That sounds so real. I made it all up. By the way, I didn't even really plan it. I was all just off the dome right here. Do you have another one? Nope. Oh, that's awesome. God. I looked up. I was I was reading like I had like a real one about like, but the first NCAA tournament was in like the sixties. 
Mm-hmm. That time, also, did, didn't you say 1908? Yeah, I made up a year. Yeah, I was like, it was what? part of the prank. Yeah, wow. I believed that Holy Cross was Holy Cross like, did uh, win a national championship in like yeah. the 40s, actually. So yeah. I think it started in the 40s, maybe or something. But someone's gonna look at this uh, Google search. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is trying to figure out what is my mom's cousin? <laughs> what is a second cousin? What is wait? Second? We haven't acknowledged how we're all like matching. I know we're all wearing the same thing today. I know it was good. Who was, was the best shirt? Mine has my initials on. I think that's pretty mine's cool. the best. Mine is. Oh, really? Wait, you guys <laughs> think you have the best shirt? <laughs> because mine is a quote from a Palestinian poet, and all the proceeds went to Gaza relief. Okay, so yours that's is definitely cool. the worst one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> right? Right? Wait, guys? Actually, yeah. That's cool. It says. Oh, I'm no, I'm not talking about. Well, Will's shirt is my. That's my. We're shirt. talking about like no. Our matching oh, this shirts. Is. Oh, I thought you were talking about my T-shirt. So mine is. Look, mine. I just wanted people to know that I care. Mine no, is my is initials. Cool. On I appreciate that. Oh, that is kind of cool, actually. Right? Yeah. What's yeah. your middle name? James. James. All right. Should we get? Should we do some uh, dog breeds that don't exist? Uh, I would love that. Okay. Also, for the clips, we have to start doing that thing we used to do, where we're like, "All right, these are dog breeds." You guys do do that. We forget sometimes. Sometimes. Oh my god! All right, these are dog breeds that don't exist. I can barely read this. <laughs> All right, first up, I've got the blue lab. Nice. <laughs> Pretty cool <laughs> stuff. I mean, I want, you want me to explain it? <laughs> um, I got the Caribbean box cutter. Okay, I like that. Sounds <laughs> vicious. Yeah, it's also. I was also thinking that could be the name of like a a thing that we do to terrorists to like get information out of them. <laughs> like he was after I hit him with the Caribbean box cutter, he was singing like a canary. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, I've got the South of the Border Collie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a Border Collie, but it's right. Mexican. Um, I got the pork. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I got the Portuguese Rockhopper. It's like a seafaring dog. I like that, and it can hunt down puffins. That's awesome. On the rocks. Uh, I said puffins are. We're trying to repopulate them. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know. That. Project Puffin. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's like in Maine, the Audubon Society in Maine's doing like. Is a, that why that cereal like benefits puffins? I was like wondering. Like, loops. No, no, no. Like there's a thing. There's like a cereal called puffins. Oh. And they're like yeah. peanut butter ones. But I was always like, what? Are, like why? Are, we like, pr- all proceeds go to puffins. And I was like, what do they need? I think at least in the East Coast, we pretty much decimated the whole population, and now they're actively repopulating because they're still in like Canada and stuff. So now oh. they're 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 in Maine now. You can go see them. Nice. But, uh. Uh, I've got the smelty. It's like a sheltie, yep. but it absolutely reeks. Nice. There's a mis a misbreed. There we go. Sheltie. Um, I had a sheltie growing up. I don't know His name was Cookie. Yeah, pull this up. Pull up a sheltie. Oh yeah, I don't like those. What ones, the though. fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I thought this was a. I thought this was. I don't like those. Those collar. things are yappy. Wait, I is Cookie this, wasn't. Is Cookie? this Lassie, the Lassie dog? No, that's no. a Collie. Yeah. Collie, that's what I'm thinking of. Shelty's a Shetland sheep dog. <clears throat> All right, I got the Flat Hilled Canyon Corgi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's, it's, I like this. It's just from a bunch of places, and they like they kept spotting it like in different spots. So they didn't know what to name it after because it was just always on different types of terrain. So the Flat Hilled Canyon Corgi. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the Amphibious Poodle. Ever heard of a poodle? This one can go in the water and it swims and Pretty it breathes cool. and it has gills. Nice. So you know there's like there's like Irish short hairs or like something long hairs. This is a Mongolian taper fade. <laughs> so it just has it has like a very like clean cut. Sometimes it has like it just li- grows in that like, way. Yeah, it has like lightning bolt. Well, you have to like maintain it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. It gets pretty shaggy if, <laughs> if you don't have a good barber. All right, I've got the. Dog with two legs in the middle. Instead of four legs, it has two that are just right in the middle of its body, like this. What? Nice. Google, Google, Google dog with two legs. Yeah, in Google the dog with two legs. Google dog with two legs in the middle. Hey, pull this up. Hey, can you Google dog with two legs in the middle? Oh God. <laughs> Well, <laughs> we honestly, we probably should have seen this coming. Guess, this is going to be sad. Guess I'm the first. Yeah, to... it looks just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh. Lauren, Lauren, put that photo right here for the people at home. <laughs> that is great picture. dog with two legs in the middle. <laughs> I like that he has a hat. Also. Yeah. Um, my last one is the flat nose cotton mouth. What 
<laughs> that's a snake, I think. No, that's uh, cotton mouths. Yeah, well, there are cotton mouths, but this one's it's like a it's a, just a dog with a flat face and it has like unbelievably dry mouth. Like, okay. It's like, like trying to like get it like <clears throat> get it wet, but um, they've started calling it like other things because it kind of sounds like like a derogatory term. It like, sounds like what's, a what's the, what's the, name? the oh. Harry Potter like you ninny yeah cotton headed ninny muggins that's from yeah. Elf. <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, a fl- uh, what did I have a flat nosed cotton mouth. Mm. I like it. <laughs> Should we do our next one? Yep. Jimmy Buffett. Okay, these are Jimmy Buffett songs that do not exist. Um, <laughs> what? It's just so niche, like the most. <laughs> I love it. You love it? Facts. I do. Um, your socks have a lot. Like, I've never seen the ridges go all the way down like that. Thank you. Thank you. I ordered the wrong kind off a of Uniqlo. Wait, let me see. Oh, you call it Uniqlo? <laughs> what is it? Uniqlo. Uniqlo? I say Uniqlo. Tomato, tomato. Yep. Okay, my first one is short flight, tall glass. I like it. It's about getting upgraded to first class on a very short flight. And they're just pouring the beers heavy, and it's just a really good time. I love it. Yeah. I've got hot dog in purgatory. <laughs> it's like different. It's very different than cheeseburger in paradise. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> um, what do I got? Oh, I got the ballad. <clears throat> I got the ballad of Daiquiri Jack. Oh, that's a good one. Jimmy bumped it. Bumped into this guy named Daiquiri Jack. Jimmy bumped in. I thought, that, I, thought you, I thought you like had a stroke trying to say his name. Jimmy bumped in. <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jimmy bumped in sounds like something else, but um, yeah, he runs into this guy named Daiquiri Jack and uh, just teaches him how to be cool. And Daiquiri Jack's kind of going down the wrong path, but it's like kind of fun. That's Daiquiri Jack for you. Yeah, that is Daiquiri Jack for you. Um, I've got. It's pronounced buffet. <laughs> There's a huge reveal late in his career that really yeah. blew a lot of people's minds. Yeah, I like that a lot. I got washed up and spit out. It's about a beach weekend where you had a blast, but then you have to go home now and you're like washed up and spit out yeah. and you have to go back to regular society after having a great uh, island or weekend in the islands. Island weekend, yeah. <laughs> island weekend. I've got sand on my scalp. Nice. It's because he always writes about like the best parts about your beach vacations yeah. and stuff. This is probably my least favorite part. You know what? I'm, really, what, what, I like it. It feels like it's like uh, like when you're in the shower and you get to, yeah, yeah, it feels I, like you're exfoliating. Oh, I feel the opposite. Really? I hate it so much. Yeah. Oh well, I like it. Sorry. Um, I've got Doobie Surprise. It's about it's about your your J getting laced, um, <laughs> and you get a little Doobie Surprise. But whoever did it, like it wasn't. Wasn't malicious. They just it just happened, and he gets to uh, he's just like tripping balls. It was an accident after a doobie surprise. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I've got sun soaked blues. Yeah, another you know it's this is like his, that's on the same album with the uh, sand on my scalp. Where yeah, it's like his he had, he was like sad one time. Yeah, and he still made an album about like island life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my last one is called Coconut Eclipse. Uh, there's a solar eclipse happening. <laughs> But everyone else is everyone where he is is too focused on like tropical Co- drinks coconut. and stuff. <laughs> it's like it's not even a factor. Like they they turn around and they're like, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but, it's like uh, one more peanut. Or maybe on. maybe let's think about it a different way. Maybe like uh, he was holding his coconut in the right place, and like they learned how solar eclipses worked because his buddy was like looking for something with a flashlight. And oh. he like and like so they learned about how it worked. That maybe. makes sense. Yeah. Can I give you guys a couple other ones that I had just that didn't make the cut? I still have one more. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. It, <sighs> my last one is called "My Death Was a Prank." It's. Uh. I didn't love that one. Oh, you didn't love? You guys didn't love that one? <laughs> um, dude, I was pretty. I'm, I'm a pretty big parrot head, so that one. That one kind of hit. Yeah, that me. would be a great one then. My death was a prank or a hoax. Yeah. If he was alive still, it would be pretty Wait, great. is that the n- parrot head? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's like like that's his like fandom. Fish like head the, or the, dead head. The parrot oh, heads. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Um, I had sand dollars and cents. Uh, toes in the water, head in the clouds. And yeah. I think that was it. I had a couple other dog breeds that I want to run past you guys. Vietnamese fancy. Yep. Short-legged delight. 
Yep. That's what they call me in high school. A bristle hair. Oh, this is, I actually think people called you this one. A bristle haired Nancy. Yep. You're right. That too. Um, I couldn't finish this one, but I wanted to start with wide breasted. Okay. So like a wide breasted willy or something. That's what they call me. Um, a, a Belgian bad breath. Yep. Just reeks. A light footed prancing poodle. Um, you did like a hundred. Is this like chat GPT? <laughs> no, I just got really carried away <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that was just a blast. Whose personality are you going to steal this week, Will? Oh, my God. Uh, so many to choose from. It's just like, which personality do I even go for? No. Um, uh, I don't know. Fucking Jack Malone. Who's that, your buddy? Scored the OT winner for BC Hockey yesterday. Nice. We're going to the Frozen Four for the first time in a while, and I'm fired up. Shout out Jack. Who's Malone. in it still? It's BC is playing Michigan and BU is playing Denver. So there's a chance for a BC BU national championship. That'd be pretty sweet. Which would be sick considering we saw BC play BU. We did. That was an awesome game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to steal. Oh, our, one of our favorite coworkers is back in the office, Kate. Oh, I know. I was gone for a week. And oh, oh, Kate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And shout out, Kate. Every time I like look over, she's giggling at something, which I think is fun. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start trying to channel my inner Kate a little bit more. Yeah. She also got. She got the worst desk. Could not be a worse desk. It, it's the. Only, I thought Blake had the worst desk. No. Hers Edge is, can see her screen. Yeah. 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 Everything. Every. I like the way that we gauge your desk is the way you would gauge your desk in like middle school. Is like, yeah. Can, can how the close te- you yeah, are? Yeah. Can, can the, the teacher t- see what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. That would be a nightmare sitting at her desk though, just having to constantly like. Yeah. yeah no. Nah. Lauren, whose personality are you going to steal? I can't think of any. Can you guys elect a personality for me? Yeah. Um, who pro- should I? Probably like Biden or something. I'm just jo- I'm joking. Yeah, because Lauren's like a raging dem. Lib. Liberal. Lauren's a liberal. Lib- lib- Lauren voted for Biden. Uh, did you see uh, JFK or RFK's new like running mate? Yeah, it was like a random. It was like. It's like this like lawyer. Yeah. Really pretty. Oh. So. Well, at least it's not Aaron Rodgers. What does that have to do with? You could steal her personality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's like a, she's like a really rich lawyer who uh, wears purple. And you're wearing purple. Purple. Right? You're the law- You're the purple lawyer. No, let's think. Book who's, idea. Who's the purple lawyer? I'm wait, trying wait. to like think of people I know, and I can't even think of a single soul. Mia. Yeah. My Mia. My friend Mia has been sending me, I was telling Will this, she works at like a sales job, mm-hmm. and they've been like doing like these motivational things where it's like a it'll literally be like a motivational like meme it'll be like a lion and it's like trying to like encourage her to like get fired up about like selling whatever product they have yeah and she's just like this doesn't do like anything for me this is terrible all righty well uh, can you can you guys all comment oh yeah what should the comment be this week we haven't done that in a while I, can we i want to get like i want to have we should come up with like a fun one yeah like i want to know more things about people i want to know i want them to all say what they hate about us no that would make me so also really no no, no, see like what comment would make us all the most insecure no please don't (laughs) now please don't do that no they're not gonna Um, they're not gonna do that they love us yeah comment (laughs) comment um what kind of shoes you got on comment the last pair of shoes you wore (laughs) yeah that's perfect um oh you get to bring three things to a des- deserted island. Oh, that's good. What are you going to bring? Yeah. And uh and give a give a review of this episode. Or <laughs> oh, here's another <laughs> idea. They can rank us from 1 to 3. <laughs> yeah, do that. Oh, great. Yeah, that'll make me really happy. <laughs> um also, oh, also this week rate hey, if you're listening on Spotify, go rate us go rate us 5 stars. True. I feel like we've never said that, we've but that I think that would that. really help. Yeah, that would help us. And lot. like and comment and subscribe. Yeah. And subscribe. <laughs> I think if they've made it this far and they haven't, they aren't subscribed there. I don't think, I think a lot, of, like, I don't subscribe to YouTube channels ever. Oh, really? No. You guys should subscribe. I'm not consistent oh, yeah. enough on YouTube. I'll just, like, click whatever I'm in the mood for. Oh, really? I subscribe yeah. to almost I don't subscribe channel. to literally any channel. I used to. Anything that I watch, I subscribe to. Yeah, no, I don't. All right, we love you guys. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week and weekend. Happy April. Happy April. <laughs>